This is a short video about the electronic indexing system that I've installed in my Stratoth X XL lathe. First of all, I had to buy and machine a 100 tooth 10 XL um, drive wheel. Uh, I've machined it so that the middle bit is fairly thin and it will just sit over the headstock thread and I can then screw the chuck in place without any loss of accuracy. The, um, there is no key in the drive wheel, it's simply held in place by friction and when I tighten up the chuck it will not budge. Apply a little pressure. The whole the mechanism is driven by a NEMA 23 stepper motor, which is bolted to a piece of MDF, which is then held in place uh, on a piece of threaded rod that's uh, secured to the bar at the rear of the lathe. Very simple. The belt tension is maintained by a piece of uh, shock cord which runs from the base of the MDF mounting board to the wall up behind the lathe. Simple but it works. The electronics are exactly the same, in fact I can use the same box as on my other uh, stepper motor projects and is uh, the same as described by Gary Liming in his uh, videos. I'll try and leave a link on the, um, uh, on the, at the bottom so that you can see. And here it is in action. You can either change in degrees or split a circle into as many parts as you like. I've set it here to move in 10 degrees left or right. Now set to move in 45 degrees. I've now set it to move in essentially uh, 180 positions of a circle which represents um, a two degree move so you see how you can move really with quite a lot of accuracy. It's surprising how effective the holding power of the stepper motor is. It's certainly adequate to carry out any work on uh, bowls. I'm trying quite hard to move it here and it's not budging. So there you have it, a simple Fairly cheap. Cost of the parts I think was around about for fifty pounds, twenty-five pounds for the stepper motor, um, around about ten pounds for the gearing, ten to fifteen pounds for the gearing and belt. And um, if you already have the electronics, you don't need to build a new set but uh, the electronics are pretty cheap at around 10 to 15 pounds